On top inside Edo today, Obaseki and Congo Brazzaville don't begin partnership with Stem Cell Transplant Center. Edo state government and Congolese government don't open the plans with them get for ground to take partner with Cell Tech Medical Center, where be private hospital for Benin City, on top stem cell transplant for sickle cell patients them. Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseki talked this one when in they received Congolese ambassador to Nigeria, Jacquees Obinza, when I am lead Congo delegation, come government house for Benin City. He salutes Professor Bazwaye Nusakare, will be Edo Pekin. Seko say he bring up one solution, come take solve the issue where they on top sickle cell matter. Governor come talk say Edo State Government could do collab with the medical center onto the Ogbonga technology where them they produce. Obaseki talk say Siko said na serious health katakata for Naija and him say him administration will continue to the support the welfare of Siko cell patients for Edo State. He comes to throw a better salute, give the First Lady of Congo Brazzaville where she takes sponsor the delegation come Edo State to come chuck eye put inside Siko cell treatment. Edo State. I also want to use this opportunity to appreciate and express the gratitude of the Edo State Government to Dr. Bazway for the work he's doing in this very unique area, um, which is actually a cutting-edge area in medical sciences and research. That for us in Nigeria, um, like Dr. Bazway said, Sickle cell, the sickle cell anemia is a big issue. It's a big medical challenge. As a government, we have continued to support the center. We have a sickle cell center in Edo State, one of the few in the country. Um, just recently, another foreign government, Asian government, has decided to give us quite some substantial grants to upgrade and, <coughs> and also support patients in the center. Uh, like Dr. Bazo, you said, um, if 3% of 200 million people have an ailment, then it tells you um, the size of a problem. But we're grateful because growing up, we never believed that there was a cure to uh, the problem. But to find out that we now have Nigerians who are, have the capacity, who have the knowledge to begin to provide a solution to this, um, this anemia, as, it, as you will say in medicine, is something that we're very happy about and uh, we're very grateful for. And the least we can do is to support these efforts. It doesn't matter to us whether it is public or private. The cure you are providing is for Edo citizens and for Nigerians. I'm also very grateful that the First Lady of Congo um, was able to recognize the work being done in Edo State and took the trouble and time to send um, her physicians and people who are collaborating with her in this area to travel all the way to Edo to come and at least acknowledge what we are doing and also to be honored you know, for the work she has done in this area. Congolese ambassador talks say this collab day on top how them go take share the knowledge and experience with them get on top stem cell transplant. And say Siko say anemia and a big wahala for Congo and their first lady they do campaign to take make sure say better welfare day for sickle cell patients them. Obin Zayan say them come at those states, come visit the stem cell transplant center when a professor Nosaba Zwaye na in the operator. Because then they get to wahala on top sickle cell anemia for their country, and they want more collab on top how them go take gets knowledge and experience on top sickle cell matter. We came to visit your center, second center here, that is needed by Professor Bazwai, because. Uh, we have the same challenges in that sector. We wanted to create conditions for uh, more cooperation, how we can tackle it, because already your center has maybe more experience with Professor Kazwahi. 
and this delegation is also here because Professor Pazwai has uh, initiated something special, recognizing uh, the effort made by uh, our first lady in the fight against the uh, why to see how to work in favor of these people living in this land. Professor Bazo Ayobi, a hematologist consultant, talks a cell tech medical center don't already do six stem cell transplants from 2017 come reach 2019, and then they do three more operations for hand now. Bazo Ayobi talks say he ready to make a dual state medical hub on top stem cell transplants of sickle cell patients, and send at three percent of Nigerians nine the sickness they affect, and they're supposed to get get treatment. The professor comes to talk, say them go name two different sections for the medical center after Congo First Lady and a those states first lady Betsy Obaseki. So take sure how them don't take throw a body put on top head care deve for a do. Started the process of trying to make a do states a hub for medical tourists. In 2011, uh, we had actually performed the first stem cell transportation in Nigeria where we converted a seven-year-old child who had sickle cell from SS to AD. That was recognized by WHO, and Nigeria was put in the map of countries that can perform stem cell transplant in the world in 2012. I did some presentation in Geneva of my work, which was assessed. Since then, we've performed three transplants in UBTH, where I did the first transplant. But um, sustainability was a big problem, so what I did was to collaborate. We had uh, just an opportunity to collaborate with the people from Congo, collaborate with the private transport center. We did three in UBTH, but from 2017, sir, uh, December 2017 to um, February 2019, we've done it to six. With the genotype change from SS to the Currently in the hospital now, we have three transplants going on. So the first one year, for the staff there to get used to the methodology, we have to do one every two, two months. But now we have upgraded to doing an average of two in a month. So hopefully, we should be able to run the risk of providing cure for many school service patients. We have actually started with a simple one of using siblings. But now we have upgraded to using mothers and fathers, which is called half match. And by next year, once we have a center that can do total body radiation, we will do sickle cell transplant for those who are between 20 to 45 years. So we we'll want to be able to provide the service and draw attention to a new state as the hub for stem cell transplant in sub-Saharan Africa. In recognition of uh, work being done by several persons, and also in anticipation to have some people as our ambassador to drive this goal, uh, we had recognized, I was in Congo, I was invited to Congo uh, last year for their program. I was one of the speakers. And there we got to know the work the first lady was doing and we were impressed. And so in honor for that, we tend to, we have about four transplant from the center. We're naming one of them after the wife of the first lady of Congo. And this is a recognition of what she's been doing. And also to our first lady here, say charity begins at home. We're also naming one of the rooms after uh, Mr. Celeste's wife, a uh, very own her Excellency Betsy Abasaki, in recognition of what she's also been doing in terms of healthcare delivery. Now, here we see this Ogmonga update reach on top waiting shelly for inside a door today. On top, say Abasaki and Congo Brazzaville don't begin partnership until stem cell transplant center. Make una know say this Ogmonga update where the waka come met on and so na T Live Media. Na the carrier, they come give for now. And to the get more of this Ogbonge story, make una subscribe to our YouTube channel on Top T Live Media TV. Make una comment and like all our videos. Make una still follow us for Facebook on Top T Live Media. And if you still log on to www.tlivemedia.com to the get more Ogbonge story.